It's the beginning of another weekend. Welcome to the show. I am Usaiwa Mesale and I am with the lovely ladies of your view. How are you doing, ladies? Good morning. Good morning. Jumoke, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. I had a I love lovely... love your dress. Thank you very much. I have a new designer, Fumzi. So she sent this to me. Thank you, Fumi. Um, like I threatened yesterday, I had lunch with YK and Nima with RDG and it was very enjoyable but this morning I was just thinking about Nima and I said to say a big shout out while you're on the show not behind you I see the way you take care of your son and the marvelous sacrifices that you're you know making waking very early in the morning to travel all the way from Badagui <laughs> <laughs> you know, God will reward your sacrifice Amen. well done Nima, how are you doing? I'm oh, very well. And a lot of mothers out there who are doing the same. It's yes, not sir. only me. A lot of mothers, working mothers, who have to sacrifice so much, you know, for their kids to try to balance home and work. God will continue to be our strength. All right. Ooh, uh, you reminded me again this morning that Waike has not fulfilled the bag of clothes <laughs> that we're waiting for. Myself and Murayo. Because yeah, you know, thank you to Waike. You look very beautiful yeah, today. And I know you. this material from Topless. <laughs> Don't worry, she stole the material from me. That's you know, I, I actually gave the tailor the blouse to adjust. They've not been able to adjust it. So I just said, you know what, let me wear it. Let it not look like I don't want to wear it. Because even the shoes, they are YK. So I'm all YK this morning. YK. 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 So how are you doing? You look um, lovely this thank morning. Thank you. I'm, I'm very good. And I'm still going to be talking about the women sweeping the main road. Mm. And I've said that rather than just lament about it, I want to put together a proposal and a proposition for the government on how to phase out using human beings to sweep sand off the road. I know that it became necessary because of the state, the Lagos state was before, mm. but we are moving beyond that. We're, we're, are you we're thinking of Lagos job creation? Is, Lagos is, yeah. I'm, are I'm you not, thinking I'm not, about I'm, job creation? I'm thinking about um, highway managers phase out into trucks and then the women don't lose their jobs so if you have any suggestion please email me i'll put my email out <laughs> i want to put it together because when i see those women sweeping sand i look at it that they have brains the brain has designed machines that can do this job there's no I need do. to have women what about you know i had something very interesting we, we must phase them out into another job i had something very interesting yesterday over the radio and you know the new uh, road safety law checking expired tires and all that mm. i think i'm going to adopt that method it's very hilarious because it's so funny we have lawmakers that do not that do not uphold the law now she said when they pulled her out to check her tire her tires were expired no problem she said no problem my, i agree my own is expired let me go and check your own <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> and she actually went to the road safety uh, patrol vehicle, checked the tires. They what? were expired. Uh, you said, oh, God, the same shoe that you are in is the same shoe that I'm in. So I said, I think every Nigerian should adopt that because we also must hold our lawmakers accountable. Yes. If you say do not pass one way, you also don't do the same. So That's let true. us be accountable to each other. Then we can actually move forward. That's you know, a we have to move on. That does not obey courts <laughs> and is asking yeah. citizens to obey <laughs> courts. <laughs> All right. Uh, coming up after the short break is the newspaper review. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back. We'll start off with the punch this morning. MBA chief um, Sanfle Ali as Senators back custom CG appear in uniform on Wednesday. Senators tell Ali. Harry orders fresh Paris club loan refund to states. ex novel chief EZOB to forfeit 1.8 billion naira to federal government. Federal government raises panel to probe Fanta Sprite contents. Seized 3 billion naira, court remands ex NMPC boss Yakubu in prison. CAF election, Hayatu accepts defeat. Ahmed promises change. Lagos State Government advises indefinite shutdown of Queen's College. Magu can act indefinitely, that's presidential committee tells Buhari. <laughs> Awaiting results candidates eligible for UTME, says Jam. And finally, Aero lays off 60% of workforce. 
Too many wow. stories. Wow. Too, too many, many stories. stories. Maybe quickly um, congratulate the new CAF president, Hamid. Um, mm. After 29 years yeah. of Isaiah to be in generation. that position, why do Africans <laughs> like to <laughs> stay put? Even, we thought it's just political. Let's Even just in it thoughts. To 30 years. Why? I've always known, I've always known CAF. Corrupts. Power I've no, never a, known CAF to have another leader. I, in fact, in my mind, it's like it's one it's of the African nations, <laughs> uh, and the president is Isaiah. Too, but we thank God that we have progressed. Okay, let's so quickly the talk. Okay. State, the, the, yeah. yeah. So the Lagos State um, has stepped into the Queen's College matter, matter, matter because um, I read in the report that there was there is in the, they have indications that 50 students were. At a, at a point in time in the sick bay over it, they, they, it taking the drink. 1,222, but you, because the, the report is in another paper. Mm. Saying 1,222. I was thinking of taking, yes. Of you know, the students that, you know, reported, they were just, of you having know, issues with. Hospital. So they're supposed to resume this Sunday mm. on the 17th, 19th. 19th. But the state government has said that, speaking from the Ministry of, um, Commissioner for Health, Health. G.J. Idris, mm. mentioned that this has to be postponed for a while until mm. we can properly investigate and be sure that the school is in the right condition mm. to accept you the know, students. Because I heard there was a dead uh, dead cat at one point in yes, their so water tank. Then there was a time. Did you see the picture? There's a picture? The picture of the water of tank the falling over yeah. oh, dirty no. water. Quickly, the federal government the federal raises the panel on Fanta on the NBC as a follow up case yes, and another Fanta case. And Good. The federal government has, you know, put together a panel from uh, including some officials of the Standard Organization of Nigeria, and they will be looking into. The, acid, the, the the whether the product Coca Cola, like I mentioned, the mm. brand no, is it's safe for us. Right. No, no, they said is that the question is: is the Coca Cola produced in Nigeria safe? Is the acidity level acceptable? What is the difference between Coca Cola products available in Nigeria and in the United Kingdom? And you know, they said Nigerians are justifiably worried about it. But I'm happy that they will be looking into these four issues, yeah. very important Must issues. We always wait until there's an issue before the federal because, government sets up a panel. Because yes, if all asking. our federal government agencies, what are their yeah, jobs? No, but even Jumaka, what I'm even saying, this case went eh? abroad already. There was already a forensic For report. For nine years, it was in a Nigerian court. Hold on. At what was point was NABDAC supposed to act? Exactly. Uh -huh. So, you know, well, we, I think that they should, the committee should not just face the uh, NBC. They should face NABDAC. Of, of course, important. as well. Let's move on to the next piece. They salaries. They don't do anything. The nation... Major headline, Buhari to CBN, release 500 billion Naira Paris Club cash. President advises governors to pay salaries, pension. Magu, Magu presidency awaits letter from Senate. Um, okay, government to raise $1 billion from assets. And finally, $9.7 million court remains NMPC boss, Yakubu. I want to talk about Magu. Yes. Now, the issue with Magu um, has been ongoing for a while. He keeps going to the Senate. His name keeps re being resubmitted by the presidency. And they keep quoting the SSS report that he is not trustworthy, he, that he cannot handle he's the position of being... Of the he's not worthy of the office yes. of chairperson of... Um, EFCC. Now, the same report, the last, like, two days ago. Um, yesterday, the um, committee, advisory committee, the presidential, presidential advisory, advisory committee, committee on, on corruption. corruption, gave a vote of confidence that this guy, we support him, and we want him to go ahead in acting capacity for as long as possible. Indefinitely. As indefinitely. And I'm wondering, is, is this... Is, why is this... Is, is, there's, a, there's a bit of conflict, no, now, conflicting for, report here. Issues, I, I understand the part of the committee headed by uh, Professor Isesagi that, you know, we want uh, the, our, our war against corruption to be seen as credible. Internationally, uh, investors would rely on a stable environment to mm. come and invest. Mm. And, and we is want the only credible person. In the entire country. Is he, did he, is he producing results? Hmm. But I'm Have we gotten a conviction of a matter he investigated? Well, I think they should clear I, his name from the allegations on ground. I the agree. SSS is I an agree. arm of the executive. I agree. They have produced a report and they so should be... I agree with you, but the Senate is not looking into the allegations. They are not even probing him and questioning him on the allegations. They are just saying... We do not want you. And you know there are selfish interests in this, in, on the, in this, in this matter. We've always said that whenever you the want governors, to make a case. The governors, people who is he, who, who he who that is investigating those, right those now, who don't want him to continue that investigation. You must have a case based on, trying to you know, silence him. deal with the issues and not, silence yeah. So let it not look like it's sentiment. Let's move on to the, the next. Worry, okay, more we'll talk about that. Let's move on to Daily Sun. Major headline, El Rufai to Buhari, we must wake up accuses presidential aides of incompetence. Mm. 
frustrating process. I will take his quote. He says, our APC administration has not only failed to manage expectations of the populace that expected change, but also failed to deliver even mundane matters of governance outside of our successes in fighting Boko Haram, insurgency, and corruption. Wike's wife makes case for women. I, like, I love that article. Engineers raises, uh, raise the alarm over a Okorocha's flyover in Oweri. Senate walks out custom CG over dressing. Panic in Lagos as rabies kills too. And finally, if a clash, Yoruba House leaders hold peace talks in Ibadan. So um, I was going to talk about um, Governor El Rufai's letter to President Buhari, a very well articulated letter in which he was saying to the president that the APC government needs an immediate and urgent surgery mm. to bring back Nigeria to its glory. I'm happy that they're able to talk to themselves honestly and not just say, hey, it's our man. You know, let's leave it. Let's let's watch how it plays this out. plays out. Yeah, yeah, I want to quickly say, Wiki's wife, Justice Eberichi Suzette, yeah. Nissan Wiki. <laughs> she was speaking, and she I, I, she actually made sense in an article because she was um, holding the summit, I think the UN, in the in New York, and she was saying that a lot of um, women, you know, we contribute. 34% of the GDP. So we need to have a place. There should be a 50-50. All you women fighters, there should be a 50-50 place in terms of, okay, that cuts across positions that women hold. And I think it's, um, it's a good article for anyone to go and read. Let's quickly move on to Vanguard. Major headline. People have not talked about this, and uh, custom boss. We will read it. Senate walks out customs <laughs> boss. Hmm. Says anybody can wear mufti and claim to be CG. So. No law compels me to wear uniform. That's from Ali. Customs 8.5 billion naira request to complete HQ stalled in House of Rep. Lagos king, uh, kidnapped kingpin King Solomon nabbed. Untold story of vampire's end. Queen's College. Parents protest as Lagos state government releases reports. Um... Quickly, which story are we taking? Ah, CG now of, uh, of, 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 of custom. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday, mm. the CD Ahmed Ali Abi yes, Ahmed Ali. appeared in front of the Nigerian white Senate captain. in his white captain, escorted by the special advisor to the president on the uh, National Assembly, and um, had custom officials follow in him uniform. inside in their own uniform. So I don't understand the guy, but Shah. So let us go the, to the, 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 the He's saying he, the, he was worked out. Said he did not flout That anyone. anybody could have come and say, I am customs DG. For us to know you are really customs CG, wear your uniform. And he's saying that there's no law that compels him. Now, what does the law say about customs officials? Mm. Rarely have we had an appointed custom head who didn't grow his way up as an official of the customs. Mm. However, he said he's consulting his people, his lawyers. his lawyers, on the legality of what is involved. Yeah. But we all know that the people that you're serving are represented by the, by the assembly. Yes. And they have said, we want you to in the uniform. In uniform. I want to say, no, my own is that is lead it, by example. This is a show of ego yeah. between both parties. You must lead by example. And, you know, as much as I really don't care what he's wearing, in. there's a lot of small As much as I really like don't this. care what he's wearing, the National on. Assembly have much more important things they should be looking into. They should stop doing this fight of, uh, you know... Of, uh, but he also has start. to bow down to their superiority. Because they he's are. He's serving the people, so he must listen to them. Okay. I won't be surprised Let's if he resigns. <laughs> take our oh, final... Yeah, let him resign. Our our final paper today, that's this day. MRS to save Nigeria $120 million annually from jetty expansion. Um, Senate refuses to grant um, ha Hamid Ali audience for improper dressing. Buhari approves release of more London Paris Club refund to governors. Um, NEC accuses multinationals of tax evasion, proposes $1 billion voluntary scheme. Naira gains as CBN auctions $150 million FX forwards. Um, May we just take ta uh, thank <laughs> MRS <laughs> mm. for purchasing a 75,000 metric ton vessel, which will save Nigeria the expansion of jetties. Mm. You know, that's fantastic. It's, you the know, you must, yes, but look for the problems and solve them. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to quickly say I congratulate the police. 
they, they, they nabbed another kingpin um, in Solomon. the festa area yeah, that has been area, yes yeah. that has been terrorizing people. I, you know. So we mm -hmm. need to commend the police as well. Good well job. done, well done. Good job. All right, that's all we can take on front page review. Up next, we learn more about shelters for domestic violence victims across Nigeria, and later our celebrity guest takes the couch. Please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Stay tuned, your view will be right back. Welcome back to your view. You're welcome back. Joining us on the show is an advocate against domestic violence, Olubumi Ajayi Layode. She is the founder of the Greenland Assistant Haven, which provides shelter for domestic violence victims. You're welcome, Olubumi. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> to join the conversation, you can call us on 070-8066-8014. You could tweet to us at TVC Connect with the hashtag YourViewTVC. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, first of all, for the people that don't know you out there, you uh, have been a victim yes. of um, domestic violence. Can yes. you just walk us through like a few seconds of how it happened and how you pulled out of the, the relationship and, you know. Um, right. I'm based in England okay. and um, I was in a, my ex was, um, it didn't start from the beginning. It started actually more um, towards the end. And um, he had been an amateur boxer and he knew where to, you know, give me the punch that would just um, knock me knock out. So I'll just yeah. like just crumble and just um, then after a few inst um, instances like that, normally I'd call my cousins in London and they'd be settling it on the phone. And then after a while, my cousins got tired of settling it and they said, look, listen, for me, the next time he does this, just call the police. So the next time he did that, I called the police and immediately every, the government machinery was put into place. Mm. I had a social worker assigned to me. I was put in um, a shelter. I was put in a hotel that day with my baby because they, they couldn't get a shelter immediately. And then the next day they put me in a shelter with my baby. I was in the shelter for a few months and mm. then I got my own place. And so basically they helped me and they told me to not work, to take my time and you know settle down take my time with my baby I, I took some time off so um, and then last year when Ronke Shode was was killed mm -hmm. and I just got tired of people saying oh it is well oh hey, yeah and, and I thought you know let's do something we don't have a government in Nigeria that has the machinery over there mm -hmm. that helps domestic violence victims and um, one of the reasons why people stay on is that they don't have anywhere Where to, to go. go. To. Our society is very much against women coming back home. Mm. Mm. You know, I'm a Yoruba woman, and I know that um, the Yoruba culture has something called Dali Moshu. Dali mm. You know, you can't come back home. Yeah. You, they would rather die. They say, you know, it's mm. better to die than to face um, ignorance. Shame. Yes, shame. So I thought, okay, why don't we, one of the things is that they don't have anywhere to go. Why don't we set up shelters? So on that first week, I said to my Facebook friends, I said, let's crowdfund and um, let's raise money. And that week, we raised one million naira. Wow. wow. <laughs> yes, I'm very proud of my friends. So <laughs> 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 I have good Facebook friends. So we got our first shelter at Aja. Mm -hmm. And then we went on. My, my, my dream is to have a shelter in each state wow. of Nigeria. And currently you have about five we have four, We have three. one in Abuja, we yes, have one in Port Harcourt, yeah. we have one in Ibadan, mm. and we have two in Lagos. We mm. have the first one at Aja, mm. and we have another one at, um, at um, Suruleri. Amazing. What's, what's the um, feedback been like? Because you know, when a woman comes to your shelter, it's always said that you have a broken home, so you encourage them to, you know, to break their yes. homes. How, what's the feedback from them? Like, how do they, you know, Settling, yeah, are they comfortable? Uh, you see, more often than not, a lot of women um, reach out in the heat of the moment. Oh, he's beating me, oh, he's going to kill me. And then we put everything in motion to, to, to I, I'm, like I said, I'm based in England, but I have um, admin members on, in, ground. on ground, and they do a fantastic, marvelous work. I don't know if I can call their name <laughs> to acknowledge them. <laughs> Olufonke Phillips, um, Defonke Adewomi, Progress Okok, um, BC Batubo in Port Harcourt. So all these were just your friends? Mm. Yes. And so, volunteers? 
So she was. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah, they they don't get paid. They have wow. their full they have their full time job mm -hmm. jobs and their family. Mm -hmm. And sometimes a woman is in, is locked up in the toilet, and yeah, because the man is banging on the door, I'm going to kill you tonight. And she has her phone, and she quickly sends me or any of the admin uh, um, a text. And sometimes that night, you know, especially different care women, she rushes there, mm -hmm. you know, to go and pick them up and put them in her own place temporarily mm -hmm. pending when we can we can so now when they now get to the to you put all the things in motion together. and mm -hmm. how I how is it do they do they stay back or they say i was just going to get yeah. there mm -hmm. like if we have for every 10 women that call us mm -hmm. probably only one goes through to mm -hmm. shelter yes I, it's quite frustrating in the beginning i used to i was very vested emotionally and i'd be crying with them and everything and they come back and be like oh the pastor has settled it mm. or oh, the family has it's said i can't go anywhere mm. or he, he said he will change so most times they don't leave mm. but the, the the few that leave we have the we have the shelter mm. with them so initially we started off as providing emergency shelter and then we now evolved that because apart from shelter, there are other things mm. that make uh, um, so it's, you say, I'd like to say that violence is not gender specific. Mm. Yeah. A man can be a victim yes. of domestic violence mm. as well. It's just that this our society, um, the, our cool. culture of silence and yeah. misogyny men, stops men, men, men are from too, reaching yeah. out. But I'd mm. like to let it be known out there that you know men can also talk and they can access the resources available. Um, yeah, so another thing is that financial empowerment, a lot of women don't have it. Yes. A lot of women think that when their husband tells them, don't walk, stay at home, they think is an act of love. Mm. I'm not saying it is not an act of love, but an abusive man will try to make sure, make yes. you, make sure you don't people. have any power. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yes, power on yes. him. Yes. Mm. On him. Mm. Exa exactly. And they'll take that power, that financial empowerment away from you. Mm. So what we also do is that we also um, do skills acquisition for them. Not just the women in the shelter, just um, um, General, we have a Facebook group called yeah. Greenlands. It started off as a Facebook group, but it got registered as a as an NGO a few weeks ago. Mm. So we have the Facebook group and the me you know the members, and then we do um, skills acquisition for them. Mm. Um, we had a set that just finished. Um, we have a set. We have two sets now that's doing makeup, artistry, and sewing. So what we do mm. is that um, we for the makeup artistry we buy them the kits. And to everything set them to off. Set for them the sewing, buy them a Let's sewing machine. Let's quickly take a call okay. this morning. Michael has joined us from Alakpara. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Ma. Thank you for I joining us. I call her, Ma. Oh, you're welcome. Yes, Ma. I normally try to reach you people, but I couldn't reach you. Oh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Ma. I'm so happy to get people today. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we have a question. Okay. Thank you, my brother. Okay. Bye, Michael. <laughs> um, I was going to address you, um, Bumi, to say that it seems like having a shelter and helping women out of abusive relationships is treating their symptom. Is it possible to help women to prevent it in the first instance? Don't marry a violent man. If you marry somebody that is um, easily angered, don't talk back when he's angry. So that we have more marriages staying together. For a lot of women, it's not their fault. But are there things that we as um, the society can do to help people prevent it in the first you instance? You see, that is a massive... That is a, we, we have to go to the root of our, of our culture. Yes. A woman will have two kids. She'll have a boy and a girl. And then she'll raise the girl to be a fine, upstanding citizen. And then she'll, let, she'll just leave the guy to just so get away with murder, li literally, you know, in any way. So we, it's, this is more than what I can do. I try my little bit on my Facebook wall. I put posts there. I talk from experience. You mm. understand? I know that, for example, a man won't start slapping you from the first date. Mm. He will wait to get your confidence. But if a man shoves you, Mm. He, he will test boundaries or a woman like yes. I said it's not gender specific mm. if somebody shoves you mm. and they say oh sorry or they don't even say anything and you accept it mm. they will push it for the, the next time so those, those are things that we, we I try to address in mm. my in my little way all right but um, Bumi, sorry. let me quickly take a little call Thomas are you there good morning thanks for joining yeah. us good morning thank you for joining us thank you uh, my question is to the well, uh, madam, Bumi, yeah. People, yeah. Hi, Thomas. If, if a woman that has a domestic violence reports issues to you, don't you have a way of first resolving it before giving her a shelter? Pardon? Do we have a way of what? Resolving the issue. 
before, before giving, giving her a shelter. A shelter. What we do is um, we verify the story first because, like I said, I'm based in the UK, so it's my admin members that try to verify that sh that she's saying the truth. Mm. My my mission, my remit, is to take women away mm. from that violent so situation so that they don't die. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Because so I wanted to address Jumoke's yes. um, question. So the truth is that. Um, everybody's calling is different mm -hmm. because right now we cannot say we want to prevent. There are still people already going through domestic violence yes. now. What is the solution for them so that they don't lose yes. their lives? Well, I wanted to so. even address, okay, sorry, talk about, um, the legal angle. Mm. You know, are you guys, because there are some women that they have children, they are unable to, you know, to fight the battle legally mm. with this um, yes. abuser yes. or the man mm. in any case. So are there legal, um, um, what's it called? Do you have a legal support? Legal support for these people. And is it a pro bono thing? Yes, we have volunteer lawyers and um, they, they do pro bono work as well. But the thing is, we are so much inundated with, um, with requests for, for legal assistance that we are now going to be um, means testing. Mm. If they are really indigent, then it will be totally pro bono. But if they can afford something, mm. then they will have to chip in towards. Because these lawy lawyers, it's the livelihood yeah. as well. We mm. can't expect them to take on so much of the work Sorry, and yeah. take them away from their own paid work. We'll come to talk with <laughs> Sorry, there's another <laughs> call. Good morning. Are you there? Yes, good morning. Femi, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. I'm a first-time caller. Welcome to the show. Yes, I appreciate you ladies. You are doing a very nice job. Thank you. Uh, the question I want to ask uh, uh, Madam, is I like what you are doing. Uh, you say you've opened your branches in some uh, states. Yes. And I hope you quickly include Benin City. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because uh, this violence against women is rampant in Benin. Wow. Uh, oh. So you are married with me. Am I right? I <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Call your sir. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> talk about... <laughs> Thank All you. Right, quickly. Um, well, I, I must applaud what you're doing. You. Um, is there any way people could join to support what your what you, how to reach out to people? Somebody out there feels I can volunteer. I have time. I can give my resources to help people out of this. Because the shelters are um, confidential for the safety of the women, the less people know about the locations, the the better for mm. the women. And but the they can reach out to your yes, foundation. they can reach out to. Okay. They can help in any way, but they may not know. Where, where? Okay. where the foundation so is. So all they need to do is to Google your foundation and they can get yes, details. Yes, it's, um, it's a Facebook group. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, no problem. Them? So we'll send out the details to anyone that's out there that wants to um, support, you know, it's never too much support. Yes. Thank and you so much for joining you. us. I know the thing is, um, even if they don't come to Greenland, Lagos State is very, very active yeah. in yeah. domestic violence. So they can always go to DSVRT. Lagos State. DSVRT. Yes, VRT. Thank yes. you so and much. Lagos State and um, Women's po and Poverty Mena. Elevation Poverty. WAPA yeah. Yeah. Unit. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining Thanks us for today. Having me. <laughs> All right, up next, our celebrity guest takes the couch. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Did they show this over here? right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. Lawal Deborah Olufumilayo, also known as Kayefi, is a recording artist with a unique genre of music which is a blend of african melody a fusion of ijala a traditional african chant from the yoruba speaking part of nigeria kayefi has been in the music industry for more than 10 years and she has worked with notable nigerian arts Welcome to the show. Good to have you again. <laughs> you were here last again. week. Yeah, like I heard <laughs> your voice. I said, goodness <laughs> me, from this tiny body. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But to join the conversation, please call us on 070-8066-8014. Or you could tweet to us at TVC connect please hashtag your view tvc welcome 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 thank you thanks i love you. your hair so you, oh. is this the kayefi brand oh yeah oh nice <laughs> something african something african okay yeah. so um i think jumoke asked that question last week what what drove you into this kind of music you know for mm. the people uh, listening like i said when she asked me last week mm. <laughs> yes, so. the music grew on me actually because mm. i grew up listening to um the likes of um angelic kejo yeah. i i think she them she portrays her culture very well mm. so yeah. 
Then I grew up into theater hearts too. I used to act um, stage dramas and mm. all that. So we used to sing all this Ogun Day music and all that. And I felt, okay, how can I communicate with the people? Yeah. It's not everybody that understands Yoruba. Mm. So I tried to blend it up with a little English. So you know, but you know, I I wanted to add a follow up to that question. Okay. Was there um, an influence from probably like an old grandmother? Because you know, the Yoruba is very conk. Mm. <laughs> really? You know. <laughs> so uh, is it like an influence from family as well? Uh, or is, it was just purely the songs that you listened to? Ah, okay. Like I said, I was into theater arts. Mm. It was my mother's uncle mm -hmm. that led the theater group. So because we just loved hanging out with the man, we started taking roles in his um, stage dramas and all those songs that he, they used to play. And there was Baba Sikira. Mm. And there was this woman that had a very big voice too. Um, we called her Yellow Day then. Mm -hmm. So I learned the Jala from her. Actually, I was observation. It wasn't wow. as if she sat me down to teach me. I, ju I, I just observed the way she was doing it. Okay, so um, this is something phenomenal because we seem to be deviating from our culture, adopting the Western world to the point where we're losing who we are. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you're portraying this, and you've been doing this for 10 years, sadly, the, last week was the first time I was even hearing about, about you. you. Wow. How are you cutting across uh, beyond, I'm a Yoruba girl, I could understand you, yet I didn't hear anything about you. How are you passing your message out there? Because you have a good message, a strong message that should be heard beyond what, um, what's going on right now. Okay. Actually, you know, I had a break. I had a little break. Mm. I was with um, Kabasa and um, the Coded Tunes click. Mm. Oh. So, yeah. So I had a little break. Mm. I got married, had a few babies. And a few <laughs> babies? How many babies? <laughs> Just two. Oh. That's good. <laughs> So you're coming back um, full time now. Oh yes, full time. And what should people expect from you? A whole lot of things, really. I feel that um, music is um, a weapon. Mm. If wielded well, mm. could get a lot of um, positive responses. So I feel that there has to be somebody that will speak about the things that are happening in the society. Mm. I feel um, most of our musicians are just about happy 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 songs it's not say i can't write happy songs but they don't just come to me it has to pass a message for you it has to pass a well, message yeah nima meeting you last week i listened to you on wallace show um waiting day waiting on day, radio yeah. continental once and you know i fell in love with the person and you know with the kind of music you projected but i still did not feel it until you did what you did last week friday so I wandered back to that interview that you had on radio and I remembered there's a song you did like the appeal to dance hall risky and mm -hmm. I wondered why would you ever change you know what you stood for that you know that was unique in it in every sense. Oriske you has know, a story well, behind it. You Actually it was my first recorded single. Mm -hmm. That was way back in 2007, mm -hmm. 6. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so there was this DJ in London. Um, he heard it and he liked it and decided to do a remix of it. Mm. It's also yeah. signed under a label. It's called Green Money Label. Mm. They're in the UK. So, so I didn't finish my property. question. I wanted to know, would you at any point change again to, you know, to do songs that will appeal to the, to the U.S.? Uh, when people? you say change, well, well, you have to satisfy <laughs> the market. Yeah? Mm -hmm. no. Is the market the goal or what you have? No. From the onset, the mm. market has never been the goal. It has always been, I want to pass across a message to people. Mm. I want to minister to people. I would have wanted you to minister now. No, no hold on. We'll minister no. later. But I want to ask you a question. A <laughs> um, few weeks ago, we had Donna, a poet. Ah, Amazing. No. Beautiful um, lady. Now, she's using English and conveying her message. Ijala is like poetry. Oh, yeah. But it is our own way mm -hmm. of passing on our message, mm -hmm. passing the right values. Mm -hmm. How are you? Like, I, I, there's a, there are platforms that you that um, the what do you call them? The cha um, um, chance. No, not chance. The po poets use platforms mm -hmm. that use spoken words. Spoken you know. Words. So, are you trying to use those platforms? Are you using? So, are, are you making? Do you feel you're making the best use of social media to pass on the message? Well, I wouldn't say I've utilized um, the use of the social media very well. Mm. But I'm working on it. It's a gradual thing. So, but what do you say would be your, what has been your major challenge? Oh. You know? So many in, challenges, I can't even start counting. In 10 years. So many challenges. The first thing is money. Mm. Although money is not everything, though. There not are so many things that can be achieved also without money. You understand? Then, the kind of music that I play, when you take it to DJs, they're like, ah, 
it's not fast tempo. We can't mix it mm. with the likes of, uh, I don't want to mention names and all that. So I'll have to go and look for somebody that can listen properly to it, understand the message, and play it. Well, there's okay. a market. Yes, for, for it. it. Because we have, have you researched it. into it? If you're taking it to club DJs, of course they're going to reject it. People are not coming to clubs to come and listen there are, there are particular to particular radio that. stations that even yeah. play, play soft, soft music. Mm -hmm. as in they don't play anything. I listen to them. They don't play mm -hmm. anything fast. I know, those, like the small time. They, 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 they yeah. even do spoken word on those radio stations that you yeah. could go and express yourself. I also know that um, some cable TV have Yoruba stations mm -hmm. that they could exactly. they, they that could encourage that they appreciate your, your content well, yeah, i know yes. that but you know i'm um, i don't want to tilt too much towards only yoruba 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 so yoruba, you are yoruba. trying to do a blend right a now a blend right now yeah, so, so you go yeah, up even though you're doing like, yoruba yeah, it appeals to, internationally to everybody oh, fantastic yeah. that's fantastic i am um, so what exactly are you um um planning mm -hmm. <laughs> To like do right an now, album coming you know. Up. So, are yeah. you going to have like albums? And I, what exactly are you planning? I have an EP out now. Okay, it's not really actually in the market yet. It, it consists of six songs. Okay, Oreske is also part of it. That one you said is a yes. fast put song. Just, yeah. just an extra touch, <laughs> you understand? To the to the whole song stuff. So it will be out very soon. But I want to first of all try and take it out to the um, people live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to base more on live music. I don't want to rely on. Okay, that's what, that, so that brings me to the question I wanted to ask before. You, we, Ijala would appeal as a soundtrack to a movie. Of course. Have you, have you, um, you know, have you harnessed that opportunity, that um, window yet? And are you thinking of putting together your own concert? Because we know that if you try to go for concert, they will always ask you. You know the way they do artists coming upcoming, mm -hmm. do it for free. <laughs> so eventually you. No, you will, uh, as an artist, you must do some for free. You, no, you must do some for free. Sure you doing plenty for free. Uh, for ten years. years. <laughs> but because I would like that you, you what you have is gold, mm. and I would like that what you have, it. you uh, you get value for it. Mm. Mm. If you wait for people to uh, give you I think you can you can champion that concert you just <laughs> you decide to, 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 to sponsor the concert <laughs> but, <laughs> no I but I would love to see you at the concert and I you do have I'd actually come. I do have my own concert that I do at Abe Okuta first of all it's called yeah. the place is called the spot lounge mm. it's owned by Shegun Degbami mm. so he said you wanted to support the old stuff too so I do my concerts there on Fridays nice. fortnightly do nice mm. so like next week Friday I'll be having another one I'm trying to gather up a little fan base. Okay. At least from I'm, sorry, I'm looking at you now. What's with the comb and the cowrie? <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us the story behind that comb? Okay, head? when you look at me now, uh -huh. the comb, the cowrie, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? She's African. African. Beautiful. That is the whole concept. That is all. <laughs> There's no jazz somewhere. I don't want to be there before my next question. I beg. No way. <laughs> Please, let her You know, because, uh, it okay, um, I wanted to ask you, acceptance in terms of, like, family, Mm -hmm. support mm -hmm. how has it been for you Beautiful. you know family support because you know sometimes um we have people that are married they're in the entertainment industry they're unable to balance work life and all that so how has it that been for you ah, it's been great though really um you know i was a musician from my husband married me mm. <laughs> so <laughs> that one is not it's not agreeable okay. so he knows that i still have to go back and do my stuff and all that so I wanted to ask you something. Strong. You know, Ijala is attached to um, hunting. Mm -hmm. Do you yes. understand? So it is seen as a traditional babalawo. When they start, you know, those, when they start chanting, it's because they're trying to invoke the god. And you know, I remember watching Shongo, and he kept doing. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you feel like a spirit is taking over, and you know, your voice has this power that you feel like something is about to happen. Oh. So, I, how, how have you been able to manage this with religion? We don't were very religious as a country. So, mm -hmm. like, ah, I'm a Christian. How oh. can I be listening to a song when they are chanting? Oh, yeah, I have to me. Mm -hmm. oh, this one. Mm -mm -mm. I don't believe in those kind of thing. I'm, I'm, I'm a Muslim. I don't believe. How, how have you been able to? Um, can I ask a quick question? Mm -hmm. yes. Those that died before Jesus Christ came, are they going to hell? Yeah, baby. <laughs> you have answered the question. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> there's a love connection that we are not aware of. <laughs> <laughs> before we quickly run off for a break, I would, I would like to find out, you know, how have you kept this your ship? This your ship? Because ah. you see... <laughs> It's not been easy. Oh, Sometimes no. my husband would tell me, don't kill yourself. <laughs> Eat. Eat. <laughs> Eat. 
I wake All up right. e every morning, I exercise. Wow. I barely eat enough food to oh. sustain me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> ah. Okay. <laughs> Please, you, you have to help me. To. Oh. If I can get somebody that can um, prescribe something or just come and give me something for free that I can use. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, con yeah, yeah, we'll continue the conversation <laughs> after this quick break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to your view. Governor Ambody, right? Oh. You are doing Lagos State at 50. Yes. Right? Yes. Lagos State at 50. We have to yes. showcase. Yes. <laughs> yes. We, yes. Have to, yes. we have to showcase. That's a, a, as in I have goose goosebumps. Oh. I don't oh. even understand what she's saying. I don't yes. understand. Yes. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what's yes. the story Imagine behind? You understand and what's what the, what is this um, performance that you've is there a name to it? It's from a song I did. It's called um, Manirare. Okay. It's a story about something that happened to me one time. About people, people that people I had. You Trusting people. Trust you you know, when people will tell wow, you, don't okay. worry. We I have, have a your back already. at the end of the day. Hello, Mary. Are you there? From mm. Alakwere. Yes. I just want to say that uh, the answer to our question. I don't feel there was a kind of um, hot dog fries and they are sick. Was there else? But I want to tell her that from even before the case of Jesus Christ, there was God, God was dead. Oh, sorry, we can't hear you. Sorry, we're finding it hard. I have a tweet. Mayowa Oladeji says, Kayefi, when are you going to be on a song with Nice Again? Then I'd love a collaboration with Ibei. Good work. Now, um, maybe some of those collaborations with people that are well known, you know, I maybe have instead of have, okay, but um, if you push those songs, maybe it will bring you more into the limelight that you're. I so, have a song with Nice. I did a song on Kabasa's album. It's called Underrated. It was me, Eva, and Moni Moni. Funny enough, oh. you know who, who I really would love for you to perform it? Okay. I'd love for you to perform with Omaomi. Um, yeah. Omaomi yes. has a powerful yes. voice, and your voice is like, yes. it's going to be like dynamite. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm it. It. Yes, I'm I'm I'd love to hear. I'm we have another it. caller. Good morning. Are you there? Hello? Hello, good morning. Welcome to the show. Yeah, my name is Olubukola. I'm a first time caller. Oh, Olubukola, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Actually, I just want to comment on KAC. She's a very good person. I do. A good singer. Thank In fact, she's a Celestian. I'm also a Celestian. Oh. oh, so I would love you to do a song. Okay, hey, but, uh, let me do Crazy World. Yes, it's about the things happening around the world, not just in our society. Please. I live in a crazy world. I dine with the crazy folks, the young and the old, blowing their trombones, spreading out the news of this malady. I want to call Gagara, want to Nikke I want a balade, want to walk by the water to Roger. I live more jukuro, loading kueru where they want. I am my shemi, I am my shani conco. So I de try not to lose my sanity, not forgetting who I be and be everything I wanna be. I de try. Not to lose my sanity, not forgetting who I be and be everything I want to be. Uh, we have another caller. <laughs> <laughs> we have Pumilayok. 
<laughs> Thank you for joining us, Fumulaya. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. If I'm really enjoying it, I've been trying this number. Oh. <laughs> if I, and my kudos to my sister and her day. Thank kudos you. Yeah, I've been it. trying to invite you, you ladies. I appreciate you. Wow. You are indeed an ambassador. I wanted to speak with the woman that you served with this morning, but thank God for the lady you invited us. Uh, no I wouldn't problem. know if I can meet with the lady. No problem. We'll, we'll, we'll send her details on Twitter. And the woman you invited this morning. Yes. yes, we'll send her details on Twitter. Thank you. God bless you. Take care. Thank you. Um, Kaefi. Madam. Now, with what you just sang now. Okay. And you now go to the a concert and you now hear all those artists saying DJ Takwa Track 2. Mm. How does it make you feel? Because you are you were artist. born like to be a live performer, and I believe music should be performed live. Yes. You know, so when you see that, what's your take on you know the the happenings in the music industry? You know, I, I, you can't judge another person's also mm. based on your own belief. Mm. For me, I've turned down a lot of shows because they said I should come and perform with DJ Track One. Mm. I wouldn't even flow. Mm. I wouldn't know how to go about it. Mm. So I don't, I can't, so I can't even. you have a band you work with? Yeah, I do have a band. Wow. I have a band. Wow. It would be fantastic. I have many events that I'm already thinking of, you know, yes, we incorporating. We have a band. So, um, um, what are you planning for the, for the future? What's 2017 for you? Lined up you. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I have my own concert. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to take it further mm -hmm. and to various states too, you understand, mm -hmm. and have like a gathering mm -hmm. where I can invite like kings, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, yeah, um, all those um, traditional, traditional rulers, so. and they can come over and listen even our, to our minister, our like, no, even our minister, <laughs> for uh, information, minister of culture, who's trying to rebrand the Nigerian, is also trying to do, but maybe you should even, because you see, the thing is, when you, you have, you have a good product, mm. there's good. no reason That's you should good. be hustling for what you want, mm. but you know, sometimes I think, I think in life, Lagos just, State government w is very, very strong on supporting ent the entertainment industry you I'm know sure you nobody registered his his interest in his that. interest clearly mm. all right thank you so much kaifi for coming you're welcome you know do you want to do one last just that's what else more again before we go okay because <laughs> <laughs> we're feeling you anytime oh, oh. okay let me do my first love song mm -hmm. I, I have lots of that but mm -hmm. this is my first love song mm -hmm. ever it's called ojo pami mm. ojo Oh Jora, oh Jokpa mi ma she pore mi. Oh Jo, oh Jora, oh Jokpa mi ma she pore mi. E di di ni wa, cause I need to let you rara. What I feel for you, baby, cause I need to let you rara. Be more far up ballo de or emmy a jero ranile. What I feel for you, baby, cause I need to lay yo. Moshama la mamore goifa, Moda keke, mamore diok pe, ok pe mi titi. Moshe bojo loro. O jok pa gilak pa kon dak pa kon si. Pamyo ma she kore mi. Now somebody will be in love right now. Ah. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for uh, for watching today. We want to quickly say that um, for the people that are going through domestic violence, please um, go on our various social media handle. We'll tweet details for you to um, for you to get help. Um, that's a wrap. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great weekend. Bye.